Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fashion Nation. And I'm going to turn this up. There we go. And there's still a lot of light in here. <gasps> I'm excited for a few things today. Um, I did a look, which will go up later, because right now it's loading on Instagram and that takes forever. So I was like, you know what? Let me pop on here real quick. Because it's time for some mysteries from Fabric Mart along with a um, something else that I've entered into is another one of their challenges and I've ordered some beauty mist fabrics and stuff so let's get into that um, do you guys like this setup better because I think I do when I'm able to use this does not sorry about that it does not hurt my back as much as having to twist so much um oh there's that okay anyway <laughs> like oh there's that i'll show that to you in a moment so um da -da -da -da, da -da. yes um yes like, why is she so darn happy because my one yard for their challenge, for their sewing challenge, is right here. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. kind of reminds me of a dress that I have that I thought about taking apart and reusing it for something else. <gasps> There's an idea. It has almost the same stripes. We'll see. But anyway, this is for the challenge. This is the so by the panel only navy white polyester lyrica horizontal stripe let's see pre and i believe that means pre-cut but it looks like it's already pre-patterned which is fine with me i'm cool with that i am cool with that um okay and i did get two more big spools let me tell you something. 3,000 yards. <laughs> yeah. Each. That's always a great thing. Plus, I needed some zippers for something. I love these. We love zippers, don't we? Especially these. These are cool. Anyway, I got those for a specific reason. I'm hoping my pattern is in here. Yes, I said pattern. Now, I got this red lace. Isn't this beautiful? Got this. These were sold by the panel. So there's actually uh, like two panels here. So that's two yards at a at a dollar ninety nine a yard. <laughs> oh, we're trying to have a fantabulous weekend. Okay. Ooh, this might be like the mystery knit or not mystery knit mystery woven yes i believe oh no you know what that goes with it goes with this oh, there we go it's so mysterious yes i love it i got five yards of it and here's my mystery knit oh mystery knit of the day now these are also a dollar 99 a yard okay the mystery ones are dollar 99 a yard and i love this i love this oh my gosh i've been wanting one like this. very velvety oh can't wait to use that oh i am okay yeah, you know I said pattern. And, um, first, oh, you know what? That would go great for the footing part underneath this to keep people from slipping. Okay, you know what? I said pattern for a reason, okay? I got a foot of pajama pattern for children and adults. And you know what? It has pockets. Oh, pockets. I love pockets. 
but you know, sometimes I get really cold at night and I'm thinking, you know, how can I take care of this? Um, you know, I know I'm in a lot of pain, but I don't let that get me. Ooh, other two fabrics. Okay, I fell in love with this. I'm Native American and I fell in love with this. I fell in love with it. Um, this is by, what's his name? Joel Dewberry. Yes. This is native. And it is native. Now, if I was to have the mini controversy palette, which I almost got today, by the way, um, or the conspiracy palette, you guys might think about this part, but it's math. Um, so I'm mathematically excited about the amount of yards that I got of this. Lovely. Um, I got four yards. Now this was six dollars a yard. So I kind of splurged on it because I thought it was pretty and I want it for something anyway. This box is heavy. I'm not loving, um, FedEx at the moment. Y'all left it in a puddle again. Serious? Are you serious? Okay. Anyway, at least I got to it in time, and that's what really, really matters. Uh, you guys know I've been saying I wanted to step outside my comfort zone with something. I think this fabric is very much outside <laughs> of my comfort zone. Now, this is a spandex this is uh, the Harvest Orange Deep Red White Multi Cotton Spandex Styled Stripe Print J. Uh huh. And I got four yards, and I'm like, you know, is that spandex? This. This right here can make for, an, and it's a light fabric, this can make for a very nice either summer dress or, yeah, I'm not really one for dresses, but I'm trying to come outside and say hello to, you know, going outside the box. And it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That is just a beautiful fabric. Ah, I love these colors. It's so moi. Um, and I just like, I love this. Because if you look at it long enough, it's like a Warshak test. It's like there's a little animal head. There's a phoenix. You know, it, it is sort of like a Warshak test. Then you have some sort of bird right here. Uh, Warshak test. Or it's a butterfly. Or a moth. However you want to look at that. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Or let's say if you turn it this way, you know, it's like, oh, this is different. And then you guys are like, wait, why is this looking like it's got pyramids? Because it does. Um... <laughs> I got a joke with you guys about like the symbology in this pattern. Um, but no, I wanted this. I saw this and I'm like, oh, M G on a tree, $6 a yard. Now this was normally, oh my God, this was so expensive before it went on sale. Um, and I always try to get everything on a sale. But this mystery fabric, if you guys want to continue to see mystery fabric, which I'm going to continue to get anyway. Oh, I'm working on something over there. Um, leave that in the comments. Um, you know, you guys know that, like, hmm. Yeah, I didn't get that load that yet. So hold on a minute. I did get my Sun City soaps and candles stuff. So let's knock two things out at once. Since I wasn't able to upload 
yesterday with that. I don't know, something weird's going on. So let me go ahead, you guys, and bring this over here too. Um, I always get my card. So um, this I did yesterday on my Instagram. Now, oh my gosh, you know they give me bath bombs and I ordered this one. And how can I say that it smells? Except for a really delightful pink candy. This is the Groovy Pink Skull Bath Bomb. Um, this will be going in my collection of the uh, Skull Bath Bombs. Now, eventually, I do have an idea. Oh, and then here's two Freebs. And, oh, Lavender. And I'm thinking this is the same one as this. It just smells delightful. I'm telling you. I'm going to, of course, it's my left. I'm going to leave the link to um, Sin City Soaps and Candles right up here with my affiliate code, SHARSNATION10, all in caps. Now this, I didn't open this. It's the Dinosaur Egg bath bomb the dinosaur egg bath bomb oh and that's why i'm excited for something and needing to order a few more of those before i do something um and you guys are like what okay i'll tell you in a moment <laughs> um now i got unicorn horn bath bombs in the scent cherry Oh, and they smell it. They're all different colors. I love that the swirl patterns are all different and everything. But do they smell like cherry? Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Now, I got two of these for a reason. Because, you know, I actually, like, get, make myself a little stockpile for giveaways specifically. And um, I will end up getting two more of these next month. That way three can go in a giveaway and I keep one. And then it's gonna be the same with these. I love the smell. I love the smell. Okay, um, these of course smell great. Um, chocolate amber soap. Oh, fantabulous. Okay, and I'm keeping this one. It's called Emerald Soap. Beautiful. And it smells beauty mix with the beauty mold. And the oatmeal milk honey with fragrance bar soap. Now, the last time I did my Simply Good Mail, I did show you guys the body scrub. No, oh, I remember what it was. It was the body scrub I did show you of this particular one, and but it was the whipped one, and um, this smells great. It smells fantabulous. Okay, why am I in such a great, great mood? Oh, I was only in queue on Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the checkout line. <laughs> For maybe about three minutes um, ordering the brand new Jeffree Star. I right, don't come at me for this. Um, Jeffree Star cremated palette, which I will leave a link to Jeff's channel in the description box. Or if I'm able to leave it up here, I will. Sometimes that doesn't always work. Sorry, that pause there. I'm having issues with my record. Sometimes my camera is no longer on my laptop and then poof, it comes back. So, hey, I, I'm dealing with stuff. Um, and it's all right because, you know, when you do good for other people and uh, karma comes, oh, yes, one more thing. Just one more thing. It was 
it's right here. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, and I did get this. This is the uh, Coco Bay. And what it smells like, like, look, I know everybody out there does not like the smell of Hawaiian Tropic or you don't like coconut scent. But let me tell you, if you do, if you like that coconut scent, I know I love it. it smells great. But you know what, though? I also think about, like, what kind of, like, um, respirators or here's something that they didn't think about when it came down to necessary people in um, health needs and stuff. People that make stuff like this, like Wayne and Nicole, they go out of their way for a lot of people. And I've always wondered for like the longest time, how does that affect their airways? Does it affect them somehow? Um, medically, yes. Because you have to think when somebody's making bath bombs, the particles from the ingredients are so small and powdery that eventually that makes it past part of the respirator and you can end up in the ER from that if you're making too much in a day. Think about that. That's actually true. Um, so it's like when I go to order something, I, you know, make sure that it's something that's already in stock so they don't have to make something right away to fill it. Now, as for the candle, that was an idea between Nicole and I. I love Nicole and Wayne. They are awesome people. A little while ago, I had makeup on. I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> I did. I had makeup on. I'm sorry, no, that was Rich Lux. Yes, I said Rich Lux. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I told Death Wish Coffee. It looks like somebody found Waldo's coffee cup. <laughs> they like that. Oh my goodness, it's hilarious. Um, but yes, I did do a cosmetic look earlier. Um, I don't know how, oh, there you go. Now you can see, I look completely different, but that is me. I just, ooh, why did that do that? Anyway, that's scary. <laughs> I need to get a new screen protector because mine just won't stick on my screen anymore. So, um, this is what I looked like a few hours ago. <laughs> just to do a video. So, um, yeah, I know I look completely different, right? No makeup. But use some moisturizer to help clear it off. And you know what? That's why those pressed pigments didn't stick on my eye. Because, you know, hey, go from this to what? You look so different. Yes. Um... I do, and I admit that. I look so different. Oh, and as for Jeffrey's, his cosmetic company put down that, you know, uh, my order was confirmed, and I'm not mad at that and everything. I'm really not mad at that. But then they realized that one item was missing that I had in my shopping cart. And so, maybe, and I checked. They did run out of weirdo. Um, so when Weirdo restocks, I know that they'll send it to me. Don't ever get mad about that. He will make sure as soon as that's restocked, everybody gets their lippy. Don't get mad. Um, 
don't be hating, just be appreciating. He couldn't wait any longer to launch that palette, and from a business standpoint, I can understand. Um, a lot of people are divided on this, but you know what? His dad recently um, passed the last couple of years ago and was cremated. And then, of course, his beloved dogs. And, again, they were cremated. He said it's his family tradition for uh, his family to get cremated. So, I guess it's kind of an homage to his family tradition. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, this goes with family tradition. Um, like, I have a tradition of trying to keep happy. Um, I don't touch drugs. I, oh my gosh, when was the last time I ever touched a drink? Yeah, it's been that many years that I, I don't even know been a very long time since I even had a drink one that's it I, I don't really like to drink if that makes sense I'll drink my coffee I'll drink my water I'll have some guava nectar <gasps> that stuff is lovely if you've never had guava nectar <gasps> you're missing out if you've never had guava nectar Oh, MG, you're missing out. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, I wanted to do my fabric haul. My fabric, Mark. You know what? Let's break this one open. I want to see this. I'm excited because it has a pre-printed pattern in here. So it looks. Oh, I think it does. <gasps> yes. <gasps> it's already patterned. Oh, my God. You know how excited I am? for that like oh I'm excited for this I'm excited to work with this there you go I love that and then there's rules to this is at least 50% of this has to be in the garment that you're making and absolutely oh my gosh like I'm excited for this hello I'm excited Viv I'm gonna link you you need to be like I don't know I feel Viv mom sews should be getting some of this in the mystery fabric I love this like I said I, because I'm gonna go in a minute um <laughs> I'm just trying to have me a beautiful day um Yes, because karma comes to people that like do good for other people, like I said. And then if you can't oblige to do that, then, you know, whatever's on you. Um, but this, I am going to, you know what this reminds me of? You know those soft pillows with the little squares on them? Or the soft blanket with the little squares on them? So this reminds me of, but it's got this lovely stretch. We'll see what I'm able to make with this because, like I said, you know, I'm going to do that onesie, and this might be good on the bottom of the feet. And um, then I have this mystery knit, or I should say woven. It's not a knit, it's a woven. It's, let me see, does this have a... It's got a little bit of a stretch, not too much, and I'm not mad at that. Um, because it'll go with that, and that's great. The mystery helped solve a puzzle. <laughs> the mystery helped to solve a puzzle. There you go. And I'm just so happy with all this, as if you didn't notice. <laughs> Yeah, as if you didn't notice. And then the zippers, and I have more sewing coming up. The zippers are for the pattern. Where'd my pattern go? Anyway, it's over here somewhere. I think it's over here under this stuff. So it's like I got these really long zippers to go with the pattern so that uh, when I go to put that onesie together, <laughs> one's going to see 
how that comes together. And then I'll share that with you. Oh my gosh. Have an exciting like life. You know, life is too short. I do hide that. Um, I don't tell you guys everything about my health. That's why I say life is too short. I'm pretty sure you get that now. Um, so that's why I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed because life really is too short. Sometimes people are a little blind to the truth, but when it comes down to it, eventually people take off their blindfold and, and see the light, you know, um, Yes, yeah, some people see the light. Uh, so anyway, guys, you have a great and blessed weekend. And I have some editing to do. I'll see you later.